This is the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, a boy called Jack lived with his mummy in a small cottage. They were very poor and the only thing they had left was Daisy the cow. One day, mummy said to Jack, We have no money to buy food. You will have to take Daisy to market and sell her to get some money. OK, Mummy, Jack said, and took Daisy off to market. On the way, he met an old man. That's a fine cow you have there, said the old man. Jack replied, I'm taking her to market to sell her for some money. The old man said, I'll take her, but I don't have any money, but I do have five magic beans. OK, said Jack, and Jack gave Daisy to the old man, and the old man gave the magic beans to Jack. When Jack arrived home, Mummy asked, how much money did you get for Daisy? Jack said, I didn't get any money, but I did get five magic beans. But Mummy said, magic beans, you silly boy. How can we buy food with magic beans? Go to your room. Jack was very upset. Mummy went into the garden and threw the magic beans away. The next day, Jack went into the garden to find the magic beans, but they were not there. Instead, there was a giant beanstalk reaching up high into the clouds. Jack decided to climb the beanstalk. He went up and up. Soon he reached a giant castle and went inside. He found his way to a giant kitchen when he heard giant footsteps coming and a voice called out, Be, fi, fo, bum, Watch out everyone, here I come. I want food inside my tom. Fee, fi, fo, bum. Jack quickly hid in a nearby cupboard and the giant sat down at the table to eat some food. After dinner, he counted some gold coins. One, two, three, four, five. Soon he fell asleep. <sniffs> Quickly, Jack climbed up onto the table, grabbed the coins and ran out of the kitchen. <clears throat> he ran to the beanstalk and climbed down as quick as he could. When he arrived home, he said, Mummy, 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 look what I found. At the top of the beanstalk is a giant's castle. And I took his gold coins. Look. One, two, three, four, five. 
Jack's mummy was so pleased. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jack. Now we have enough money to buy food. The next day, Jack was curious to know what else he could find in the giant's castle. He looked up at the beanstalk and thought about climbing up again. So he decided to, and he climbed up the beanstalk. He went up and up. He reached the giant's castle again and went into the kitchen. He soon heard the giant's footsteps coming and the giant calling out. Fee, fi, fo, bum, watch out everyone, here I come. I want food inside my tum. Fee, fi, fo, bum. Jack hid in the cupboard as before and the giant sat at the table to have his dinner. After dinner, he took a golden hen and said, Lay! And the hen laid him a golden egg. The giant soon fell asleep. Oh, shh. Jack climbed up onto the table, grabbed the hen and ran out of the kitchen. He ran to the beanstalk and climbed down as quick as he could. When he arrived home, he said, Mummy, 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 look what I had this time. A golden hen that lays golden eggs. Watch. Please lay me an egg. Jack's mummy was so happy. We shall never be poor again. Thank you, Jack. But Jack... We have everything we need now. Please don't climb the beanstalk again. It is too dangerous. The next day, however, Jack looked up at the beanstalk. He remembered his mummy's words, but he was too curious. And he climbed up the beanstalk anyway. Up and up he went. When he reached the giant's castle, he went into the kitchen. Again, he heard the giant coming. B. Fi, fo, bum, watch out everyone, here I come. I want food inside my tum. Fi, fi, fo, bum. Jack quickly hid in the cupboard once more and the giant sat at the table for his dinner. After dinner, he took out his golden harp and said, Play! Soon the giant was asleep. <laughs> Jack climbed the table grabbed the harp and ran out of the kitchen. But the harp cried out, Master, Master! The giant woke up. 
Jack ran as quickly as he could with the harp. But the giant was chasing him. He reached the beanstalk and climbed down quickly and called to his mummy for an axe. The giant was also climbing down the beanstalk. Jack began to chop the beanstalk. Chop, chop. Chop, 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 chop. And then the beanstalk and the giant fell down with a crash. That was the end of the beanstalk and the giant. And Jack and his mummy lived happily ever after.